self-incriminating myself now and welcome Daiki to the stage. He's going to talk to us about contributing to Swift. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, so at first, I must start sad announcement for you. Uh, so today, I lost my airport only left side in this venue. So please look around your seat. And uh, if you find my airports, please let me know uh, in Slack. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm Daiki, and uh, I was a developer in Tokyo for seven years. Uh, in online, oh, OK. In online, somebody called me D-Day, so feel free to say hi. So two months ago, I joined Folio Offices FinTech Startup in Tokyo. And also, a member, I'm a member of a Tolerance's Tokyo team. So if you enjoy NYC, uh, we are waiting for you coming to next Tolerance's Tokyo. So let's start from about iOS, macOS app development. As iOS or macOS engineer, we use three or four elements to develop. The first one is Xcode. As yesterday's talk, I know all of you like Xcode, right? <laughs> the second one is, of course, iOS or macOS. The last one is Swift we love. Who loves Swift? Woo! <laughs> or who likes Objective-C? <laughs> cool. But I want to talk about Swift itself today. OK. OK, so Swift was released four years ago, and now version, new, newest version is 4.2 under development, and open source from Swift 3. Open source means we can see all Swift code, including interface, compiler, and more deeper and deeper. So when you find some issue, you can open issue on GitHub, or you can fix it yourself. So we can improve our Swift better my, myself. So today, I'd like to talk about how to contribute Swift with my story. Someday, I found such a code. This code tries to remove new value in dictionary, which the value is optional any. Maybe we want to improve this method more comfortable because this code will copy dictionary into new dictionary named destination. First, I imagine that I only have to flat map dictionary, then convert value into string. But unfortunately, flat map returns array of tuple consists of key and value. I need to get string string dictionary. So I'll start to find ideal method. The first my action is getting advice from committee. In Japan, we have a committee on Discord named Swift Developers Japan, mainly in Japanese. We are talk every day about Swift language, or compiler, or more, more, more deeper themes. Someday I posted my question and get answer that use in art will be more cleaner. So this code want to change into one line and faster by using reduce into. Reduce into is introduced from Swift 4 and using inert keyword in result. So we, we can iterate values with pointers, so much faster than just copying dictionary to new, dis, di, new dictionary. By this implementation, we can remove new value from dictionary like this. But is it enough? I don't think so. The ideal function style is making function for dictionary because easy to understand what, what we should do for dictionary. So I have to name this method. Let's back into basis. We know map and flat map in collection. And flat map was named into compact map in Swift 4.1. 
Also, from stage four, map bias was added to only map, map value in dictionary. So now, we have map, compact map, and map bias for dictionary. But we don't have compact method corresponding to map values. So I named compact map bias for dictionary. Now we can remove optional value from dictionary with compact map values. It seems easy to make as own extension in each your product. But I want to try to introduce this method to standard library. So I posted my idea to forum. The discussion of Swift is also opened. We can discuss about Swift feature in forums.swift.org. This is a forum. The topic is categorized into announcements, pitches, proposal reviews, and discussion. In this time, let's dive into pitches. I posted my idea in pitches are like this. After posting, many developers supported my idea. Or well, someone shows the example of using their production code. And thanks for him, I realized the compact map value is a useful function when transform value into other type. We don't have to rehash by using filter. By through this discussion in forum, I decided to make dictionary compact map values as this style. The compact map value is now in dictionary and use reduce into method to iterate dictionary's element. Then transform only value with closure. If value could transform, result will contain the transformed value. So now, let's start to make proposal to Swift evolution. All proposals are exist on Swift evolution repo. By using template in Swift evolution, I made a proposal like this. The proposal contains introduction, motivation, proposed solution, detailed design, and so on. In this process, content is no problem for us, but he corrected my grammatical mistakes. He is very glad to me. As part of the proposal, I only have to implement my idea, but I need to build Swift itself first. To build the Swift itself, we need to get the code. So clone Apple Swift repo. It takes a few minutes. Then checking out, checking out the dependency. By running Apple checkout in utils with clone option, all dependency will be, will be cloned. It, will, it takes also a few minutes. After clone all dependency, let's build Swift by running build script. It takes about 30 minutes to full build. So I recommend to try in your home or office. After build switch, now I can start to implement my idea. In my change, I only have to just wrap reduce method in dictionary. So I don't have to know about AST, C, IRGEN, LMVM, or something deep around C++. I only write Swift code to implement my idea. After implementation, testing is impo important to check that Swift is not broken. So writing unit tests is easy for me. Uh, by seeing other test cases, first import std gives unit tests and write your test, test case. In my case, I wrote two test cases about checking type and checking behavior to remove need value and converting storing into integer type. When you finish writing test case, run build script with RT option. Large R means release build and small T means running test. So let's wait for 10, from 10 to 30 minutes. I recommend to take coffee during building. Now unit testing is passed. 
but sometimes benchmark is required from core team. The building benchmark is a little bit confused, but just only writing boilerplate. First, specify info of your benchmark. Then prepare your data and learn method we made. Benchmark will check main .swift and CMake list, so write down your benchmark info in these files. And run build script again with benchmark option. So it takes two hours in your local machine to run all benchmarks, so I recommend to run benchmark before you go to bed. <laughs> but recently, that benchmark is a lot faster down to 30 minutes from two hours. That's incredible in progress. We can run benchmark in not only in midnight, but in your daily life. Also, it's better to run benchmark on Swift CI. Members in Swift repo can build benchmark tests by mention to Swift CI so that we don't have to use our machine resource. Okay, that's all my implementation and testing. By passing all these process, we can, now we can start evolution process. This is just beginning. As part of my proposal with implementation, the evolution ticket will be opened. In this thread is a final discussion to accept my proposal. The discussion will take one week or long. In this thread, almost all the people were welcomed to my proposal. The only concern thing is someone says, compact map value is consists of three words. A little bit longer than other Swift API usually consists of two words. But my review manager uh, replied, it's not a problem. So if you have interest in this discussion, try to see this right. By passing this discussion, my proposal was accepted. I want to say that through all my talk, compact map value is available in Swift 5. Thank you. So let's get my talk. So first I want, I did things that get advice from local committee, then post my idea to forum.swift.org, then make proposal to Swift Evolution. Then build, build my environment to build Swift implement, implementation, then testing, benchmarking, then waiting to starting evolution process. My timeline is as is. The discussion was started on January 24th, and my implementation was finished on March. But the evolution process was started on June. I don't know why the review was not started and take half a year to accept this, this proposal. But the, I think the most important thing is Never give up until merge into master. <laughs> <laughs> so you may think about this process sounds hard, but I, I don't think so. Swift is now open source, and everyone can contribute to Swift. On the other hand, we can easy to break Swift, so core team should keep Swift fine. So the process is a little bit hard for us, but it's not so difficult as I can. So they are welcome to contribute to Swift, so let's start to your contribution to today. Finally, I want to say thank you for all my committee. So especially my friend Tarno is my Japanese friend who is a great, great, great developer in Tokyo. So this is the idea of my proposal. And thank, thank you for all the NYC organizers and staff. Thank you for Thank you for Natasha who invited me to NYC. And thank you for listening to my talk. Okay, that's all. So see you on next Swift Tokyo. Thank you so much.